What is up everybody, Jay Costa here. Today I want to talk about real estate investing, but more specifically, real estate investing into a condo. I've been asked a lot over my real estate career whether I think that investing into a condo is a good move or a bad move. I kind of just wanted to go over in this video the pros and cons of both, as well as share my experiences on, my own personal experiences on real estate investing into condos. So a little bit of background. I bought my first real estate investment in 2016. It was a condo. I bought it for $250,000. I put $30,000 of work into it and sold it for $360,000. I took the profit from that unit and I put it into another condo the next year in 2017. We bought that unit for $220,000. We put about $35,000 of rehab into it and we ended up selling it for $403,000. So both of these units, I made a good healthy profit on. Which brings me to my first point, is that it is better to invest in a condo as a flip and not as a buy and hold. There are pros to investing into a condo and most of those pros apply to new real estate investors. Number one reason is that the barrier of entry of buying a condo is lower than buying a single family house or even a multifamily property. They're usually less expensive and if you don't have access to millions of dollars of capital, you can get into a condo, buy it at the right price for a fairly uh, a small amount of money and still make a very healthy profit as I just mentioned in my, my two examples there. Obviously they're just smaller as well, right? The smaller square footage wise. So you're gonna be able to get into the property. It's gonna take less work, less time and less materials to rehab the property and get out whether you're looking to hold onto it or uh, flip it. Now the cons to real estate investing into a condo is really, are they're, they're really all based on the HOA. So some HOAs are better than others, but you're really always going to be held hostage by the HOA if you're looking to invest into a condo. And that is one of the reasons or the main reason why I would suggest to flip uh, the property, the condo, instead of buying it and holding it to rent out. If you buy a condo to flip, you buy the condo, you go in, you do your work, you get out and you sell it. You're dealing with the HOA as little, uh, the minimum amount possible. But if you are looking to buy a condo to hold it and to rent it out, even if it's in an area that's very rentable, very marketable, and very desirable, you're always going to be at the mercy of the HOA. The HOA, they can up the, the condo fee at any time that they want. There's no saying that it, whether it's uh, poorly run or well run, and they can always hit you with an assessment. So, because when your condo complex gets to a certain age, you know, more and more repairs are needed. And if they don't have enough uh, in the capital reserve fund to pay for these repairs, which they usually don't, they hit all the owners with an assessment. So an assessment is basically a way for the HOA to pay for a repair without raising the maintenance condo fee. So let's say your condo fee is $350 a month and they need a new roof they hit you and they don't have enough in the reserves, they'll hit every unit with a with an assessment fee. So then your uh, monthly condo fee is gonna go from 350 to 350 plus, let's say another $100 a month for 10 years to pay for that roofing, uh, that roofing repair. That is not good if you're looking to buy and hold as an investment. Not only did that just eat into your cash flow every month, but it also hurts the equity of and the resale value of the property. When you look at the numbers, this is the reason why condo property values do not appreciate as much as single family and multifamily property values do. It's because of the HOA, because of the condo fees and the repairs and the assessments. So basically your money is not gonna be as safe in that condo as much as it would be in other property types. That is it for today, guys. If you have any experience with investing into condos, whether you agree or disagree with me, tell me why in the comment section down below because this is just what I'm used to. I'm a local guy. This is just my area that, I'm, that I have experience with. If you have other experiences in different areas uh, that you ended up you know, buying and holding something with a lot of uh, uh, condo-wise with a lot of success, let me know about it in the comment section down below. Also hit that thumbs up button. It really helps with YouTube and 
If you want to know more about my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, I'll uh, see you then.